Hey, it's Kendall, and this is 90 Second Church. Before we begin, if you haven't done so already, click the YouTube subscribe button or follow us on Facebook so you get notified when the next episode comes out. Today, we're in Mark chapter 9, verses 2 through 6. Here's the scene. Jesus takes three of his disciples to the top of a mountain where something absolutely incredible happens. Here it is. As the men watched, Jesus' appearance was transformed, and his clothes became dazzling white. Then Elijah and Moses appeared and began talking with Jesus. Peter exclaimed, Rabbi, it's wonderful for us to be here. Let's make three shelters as memorials, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He said this because he didn't really know what else to say, <laughs> for they were all terrified. I love this story. Peter doesn't know what to say, so as usual, he just says the first thing that comes into his mind, Jesus, let's turn this place into a shrine. And I can imagine that Jesus rolls his eyes and shakes his head going, Peter, you're driving me crazy. But here's the point that I want to bring up. You know, we think of Jesus as our friend and our cheerleader and our encourager, and, and he is sometimes those, those things. But let's never forget that Jesus is also God and has unlimited power and glory and beauty and authority, and He deserves our worship. And one day, one day when we see Him face to face in heaven, we're not going to exchange high fives or fist bumps with Him. Our legs will buckle, and we will do a collective face plant because we'll be overwhelmed by His glory and beauty and power and brilliance. The one who is our friend is also our God, and in His presence we will be overcome and we will be worshiping Him. Take a moment right now and worship Jesus, our friend and our glorious King. We'll talk to you soon.